into some characters, okay? We done ran into some characters, so we about to get our interview on, okay? The right to the left of me is Spider-Man. Hi! Okay? Hey, tell me up a little. How y'all doing? Okay, we are outside in the yes. hot sun. In again. The hot sun again. So welcome back to part two, the second day of this lovely vlog. We are okay. on our way headed to Flame Con. Okay, it's the second day. Get your flames on, honey. Yes, guys. So we're on our way headed there now to see what today Ooh. is gonna bring. Um, as you guys seen in probably the first episode of this weekend. Uh, some of the activities that went on on Saturday. So today is Sunday. So we're on our way there guys. Okay. So make sure you turn on all your bells and notifications. Okay. And come on with us and guys. And the fun part is they're doing another cosplay contest. So there's going to be a new winner today. Yes. I live for the contest. Huh? Yes guys. So we'll see y'all in a minute. Talk to you soon. It's one house of the house of X. It's your boy Leo. And as y'all see, I done ran into some characters, okay? We done ran into some characters, so we about to get our interview on, okay? The right to the left of me is Spider-Man. Hi! Okay. And what made you want to be Spider-Man tonight? Um, so I'm actually, I'm here with my boyfriend and he's doing Deadpool and we wanted to celebrate queer characters together and you know, okay. everybody wants to see Spider-Man and Deadpool together, so we're like, let's give it to him. Oh, not Spider-Man and Deadpool, you know what they're saying about that now? Right here we got, okay, now y'all know I'm an X-Men fan, so we had to get Dazzle on the show, okay? That's just how we do it around here. Hi, I'm Dazzle, this is uh, one of her, uh, least known looks from the uh, 2000s Utopia era. Okay. Uh, known as Starcatch. Okay. Because, you know. Yes. Now, for y'all that don't know, Dazzler was actually in the cartoon series with the X-Men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She was in both of them. So, so, so they she, had two series. So, so, she was in, so she was in the pilot in 1989. Yes. And then she was, she had a cameo in the other, so only I think the, it's the other two. Like so, so, yeah, so X-Men yeah. 1992 and then uh, Wolverine and the X-Men. Okay. Yeah. So y'all already know Jazz is doing, and she was in the video game. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Okay, so get y'all video games on. Okay, now we're going to go over here. 
we gonna go over here because we got the princess of all princess, okay? She coming to slay y'all. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> so, explain a little bit of the costume and why you chose it tonight. So, I'm Xena. Uh, as a lesbian, I felt like I had to dress like the one of the biggest lesbian icons ever. Okay. Xena. So, I'm just, you know. I had to. It was required. Okay. As a lesbian. So you guys having fun tonight? Oh yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So much fun. So much fun. I also love that you think it's night. <laughs> That's my favorite part of that sentence. It's like oh not even goodness. 1 p.m. yet. <laughs> <laughs> but also, also, if you're going to be Xena, can you do the Battle War Cry? I that? can. Is it gonna, okay. Don't hold it that close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Wow. Right, there you go there. Yes. Wow. So House of X, we got some characters, we got some interviews, and we will catch y'all later on. Welcome back, welcome back, guys. House of X Entertainment. We're here at the Cosplay Alley, guys, with some amazing cosplayers. So tell us who you are and what, what are you today? My name is Nikki. My user handle is Dollar Runner. I'm cosplaying Isagi Yoichi, the egoist, from Blue Lock. Nice. Luis, my uh, IG is avocado underscore at law. And I'm cosplaying Cubone from Pokemon. What inspired the, the cosplay? After you. So what actually inspired me to cosplay this character today is because this was sitting in my closet for how many months? And I, and so this is actually like my debut cosplay. Mm -hmm. So I want to like uh, show it off and just feel comfortable as well because I want to be able to roam around the convention. I want to be able to see some pretty cool stuff. And for the most part, I just want to vibe and have fun. Yeah, I mean, I love Pokemon. I grew up watching Pokemon, Pokemon cards, etc. It's just a very comfortable cosplay. It's a good excuse to not wear a shirt. You know, the beach. I love yeah. the beach, so it's kind of like, you know, take my shirt off at the convention. Now I'm it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. And back to House of X Entertainment, live here at FlameCon. Love you. Love, love you. Love the lady behind the camera, too. Welcome back, House of X Entertainment mm -hmm. at FlameCon. We are live. Welcome back to Cosplay Alley. Please introduce yourself and what inspired your cosplay today. All right. I'm Decaf Mage. Um, I'm cosplaying Vash the Stampede from Trigun Stampede. I'm Starlet Hearts. I'm cosplaying Nicholas D. Wolfwood, also from Trigun. <laughs> All right. And it looks lovely. It looks lovely. And tell us where you can find find you on Instagram, Facebook, you know, if someone would like to tag you in something. All right. Well, if you find me today, uh, <laughs> snag a donut from me. If Please you like. take a donut. <laughs> um, but I'm Decaf Mage on all socials. Yeah. I'm, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm Starlet Hearts. I'm, we're both Twitch streamers from the same uh, Decaf Mage and Starlet Hearts. And if you are looking for me anywhere, I'm usually Starlet Hearts except for Instagram where I'm Grand Summoner. You can see all my costumes there. All right, thank you. Thank you. And back to you, House of X Entertainment, <laughs> live from FlameCon. Thank you. Hey, FlameCon, it's your boy Leo, one half of the House of X, and we are still doing interviews and killing it. I'm telling you. So you know I had to go find some more people, right? Some more characters. So we got Wonder Woman looking absolutely fierce, thank and we got much. Robin looking absolutely fierce. Holy so, fifty minutes. Okay. <laughs> what inspired the costumes tonight? Um. I loved Batman growing up, the 60s Batman, and Batman and Robin, and I didn't quite understand why I liked the two of them so much, especially when they got, like, trapped, but now I understand it a little bit better okay. as an adult, so it felt appropriate to bring it to FlameCon. Okay. Is y'all down with Robin or no? So what inspired Wonder Woman tonight? Uh, for me, Wonder Woman, it, doing something gender bent made so much sense for, for FlameCon, and also uh, I love the idea of, as a guy, um, Showing like that, I see like, a female hero is aspirational, yeah. and so much of, uh, of so much of this is like seeing the ideal in all these characters. And I think like it, it, it's great that we can also see uh, like a, a, a female character as like yeah. a, the, something that aspired to as far as strength. Or, 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 okay, so how strong are you? I, I do okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. find out. Yeah, he's being modest. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go to a lot of cons. I usually go to horror cons, yeah, actually, yeah. Oh, wow. but I never miss this one because okay. exactly, you know, it's so special. I know, that's right. Well, this is our first time being here. Well, oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Okay. Back to you, House of X. Hey, House of X fam. It's your boy, Leo, and I'm standing here next to the prettiest Barbie of them all, honey. We got Miss Barbie in the building. So how are you tonight? I'm doing fabulous. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm better now that you're here. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. 
So what inspired the look tonight? Well, I wanted to make a Barbie from the time I grew up, and I'm an 80s baby. Okay. So this was inspired by the 80s style Barbies. That's why okay. I have the big hair, all the tool, big floof. Okay, she said, y'all going to notice her tonight. <laughs> Just had to do it old school, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're having a um, cosplay contest at two. Are you going to be in it? I'm going to enter it. You know, I wish I had a Ken here, but, you know, I'll We'll just find you myself. a Ken somewhere, honey. There's got to be a Ken. We're looking for Ken. Ken, is that you? Is that you, Ken? Okay. Kendra, too. Okay. We're looking for her, too. <laughs> so, are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a ball. This is my first time at a New York convention. I came all the way oh, from wow. Virginia. Oh, shout out to Virginia. Okay, we <laughs> yeah. got Virginia in the building. That is good. So, House of X, we are back to you. Welcome back, House of X Entertainment. We are at FlameCon, and welcome back to the Cosplay Alley, guys. So, we have this lovely, lovely, lovely lady here, guys. So, please explain what you are wearing today and your costume. Yeah, so my costume is Catwoman from Batman the Animated Series. Which was the best animated series. Okay, <laughs> yes. let's talk about it. Yes. All right. And did you make all of this yourself? So, the only thing I made was the bodysuit, the gloves, and that was it. But um, I'm going to make an update to the cow, so I'm going to redo it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is Catwoman oh. one of your favorite uh, yes. characters? She is. She's one of my favorite anti-heroes. Okay. Anti-heroes, villains, yeah. Okay. Do you um, go to a lot of Comic-Con? Uh, I try. Because <laughs> over the years, it's become more expensive. But I go to more of the local cons, like the mo local smaller cons in New York City. Okay. Um, when, should, when is your next con? So my next con is a small, newer con in the Bronx. It's called BX Anime. And yes, we're going there. there. So you'll see us. Yes. Are you coming as Catwoman? No. So I'm, I'll be going as it was supposed to be the cosplay. I was supposed to come with, come dressed uh, today, but I was unable to get it finished on time. So it's it sort of a secret, oh, secret, but it's from a very, very popular cartoon show. Oh, okay. okay. She about to surprise y'all. Yeah. Like yes. Yeah. So tell the people where they can find you and, you know, your handles. Yeah. So you can find me primarily on Instagram. I go by Sassy Black Feline on Instagram. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, back to you, House of X Entertainment. Right. We are live here at FlameCon. Welcome back, House of X Entertainment, to Cosplay Alley, guys. We are here with the lovely Miss Snow White. Yes. How are you doing, darling? I'm so lovely. How are you? Fine. So tell us about the look and design and the reason for this costume today. Yeah. So uh, I did not make it, <laughs> but I did rhinestone it myself. Oh. I was bored during the panini, mm -hmm. and I uh, spent a few days just adding a few hundred crystals to it okay well <laughs> all right well we, i love the rhinestone thank you and everything. Yes. so what inspires snow white i love disney i love disney princesses and she's the og she's the first ever disney princess first ever animated film so i wanted to pay homage to the og disney princess okay mm -hmm. all right so you tell go to a lot of cons i don't go to a lot of cons i actually was at the first ever flame con back in years ago uh, but I haven't been to a con in a minute, so I'm happy to be here. I'm having a great time. Okay. Now tell the people where they can find you. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram and all social medias. Fifi Dubois, that's F-I-F-I, -F -I, like a poodle. I think I, you performed somewhere before. I work a lot of places. Uh, um, industry it, bar. It used to be, it used to be Boots and Saddles. Boots, boots and Saddles, yes. Yes. But Let me she rest in peace. She's not yes, no more. It's no. Not, it's no more Boots and Saddles. <laughs> I've seen you perform at Boots and Saddles before. Yeah. And the hanger. Yep, I I hang around that hood a lot. Now I'm over yes. now I'm over at the monster. The monster on Sundays, yeah. Yes, because I've seen you perform at Boots mm -hmm. and Saddles, made Boots and Saddles rest in peace. Yes. I'm yes. The, I'm still the current reigning Miss Boots and Saddles. I was the last to ever win it. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Still forever reigning Miss Boots and Saddles. <laughs> okay. All right. So guys, back to House of X Entertainment. We're live here at FlameCon 2023. Miss Lovely Snow White. AKA Miss Patrick Winner. Yes. Dubois. Ew. Hi, House of X family. Welcome back to Cosplay Alley here at FlameCon. We are here with the lovely queen, Miss Beatrice, guys. As you can see, she's giving me so much 
the Golden Girls, and you know I love the Golden Girls, okay. all right? So tell us about your look today and the Golden Girl. Well, I'm dressed as the Dorothy from the Golden Gaze. You have our nice pin there. We do Golden Girls drag musicals, mm -hmm. and my drag name is B. Beatrice Eglantine Arthur. All right, and where can they find this? The um the the play the show. Well, we tour all over. You can find our show schedule at thegoldengaze.net. All right. How long have you been performing? All about ten minutes. <laughs> uh, I started doing Dorothy in two thousand and ten, so it's been thirteen long years. Wow, I love me some Dorothy. Good. Yes. Who oh, plays she did. Um, Who plays Blanche? Who plays Blanche in our show or in the, the original? In the show. In, the, in our show, her name is Christopher Eklund. Uh -huh. And she's uh, the Blanchiest Blanche you ever met. Oh, what about Sophia? Now, Sophia, in our show, a member of the audience plays Sophia. So that's why she's there on your pin. So we carry her purse. And inside is her hair and her glasses. So you, yes, you could be my new mommy. Ooh, I want to be the mommy. Oh, let's do it. Okay. You ready? Here. Yes. Okay, now, honey, this is a this is a lace back wig. Okay. So you got to put that on. All right. And then we got to get your glasses ready. Okay. Okay, and then I'll get the purse. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Here's yes. your uh, now. You're my mother. Okay. Okay. She's auditioning. She may uh she may get the part. Look. Oh, look. We found my mother, mm. and we call it Token Sophia. What are you gonna do? Sit sit in a pool of water? Yeah, yeah, an inch of water. An inch of water? An inch of water. She treats her uh, body like a temple, mm. open day and night. Yes. Yes. I you, love this, it. This, it looks very, it's very fitting. What y'all think? How it to looks make... good on her. So, we're live here at FlameCon with the Golden Girls show. I'm the new addition to it, Sophia. This is it. We found her. Yes. Hey, how's the X family? It's your boy Leo, and of course I have to go out and find some more cosplayers. Okay. Yeah, mine is on. <laughs> Even if it wasn't on, child. Listen, y'all can hear me, right? We go way back. Y'all can hear me. Okay, so we are here next to talented, gifted people, and what makes this special, you guys? Because if y'all paid attention, and I know y'all paid attention, she won tonight. And what makes it special is she won at the last cosplayer content. Cosplay, I'm getting tangled in the words, <laughs> y'all. The last cause, what is it? Cause, cosplay contest. Thank you. Cosplay <laughs> contest. She had one um, in June. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, yeah. Well, now she we're in... actually won one yesterday. Oh, did you? Yep, in Staten Island. Oh, you better go ahead. You're slaying all around. You are slaying <laughs> all around. So I'm going to have you guys introduce your, your cosplay, just in case. The, but this is Power Rangers. Yes. Okay. See, I knew that. <laughs> She is giving, honey. Right. Give him a little something. Give him a little something. Oh my gosh! So there's sass all around. So right, right. Um. So my handle is Mighty Morphin Power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, my handle is Mighty Morphin Power Priestess, and this costume that I'm wearing is the samurai mashup version that I have of um, Ranger Slayer, which is the comic version of the Evil Pink Ranger. Um, she's evil? Yeah, she's a bad Why? guy. She's a whole villain. This is in another timeline? Yes. Another universe? In a I know whole they alternate that. timeline I'm where gonna... she is feared. Oh, she is wow. pink, she is fierce, and she is feared. Okay. So I went ahead and said, you know what? They did a samurai um cover art for the comics. And I said, I like that. Did a Pink Ranger variation of that, and now I've decided to do the evil version, and this is just part of it. There's more. There's more armor. There's more to come. Did you make this yourself? I did. See, From top to bottom. Now. This is why she won it, because she made herself. <laughs> and we're going to have you describe your cosplay. Yeah, it's the New York Sixth Ranger, and I'm doing Scanlan from, from the Legend of Vox sorry, Machina. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Scanlan from the Legend of Vox Machina. That is my character. Um, I do not make my stuff. I buy my stuff. Um, he wears it well, though. I wear it well. <laughs> okay. Do you guys um, do a lot of cosplay? <laughs> yes. We've been cosplaying since 
Me? 2015. Oh, wow. And you? Um, uh, I made my first attempt at 2014. Oh, okay. um, But kind of got into a groove in 2015. Okay. So how do you feel having a, a winning cycle here? Because you don't even have to cosplay nothing else. Like, you, you're the winning package. <laughs> I... I just like showcasing my stuff. I like, um, I like being up there. I like seeing what what people bring to the show and bring to the stage. And I like, you know, going, ooh, you came to eat it up. Ooh, I gotta step my game up. I like the challenge of seeing what other people bring and being among like people who slay in their own way. You know what I mean? Because lots of people can buy their stuff, yeah. but still own the character and then give you personality give you sass give you energy and i like being in that kind of environment so i'm like hey cosplay competition you came through in a cardboard box but you ate it up yes i don't you know what i'm saying i'm honored to be with you you know okay. what i mean so it's it's fun for me if you, i win that's just icing on the cake you know what i, I mean? know that's right do you guys do characters yeah. together which <laughs> Do you guys do characters together? Yes, yes. We got some groups. Uh, I'm also a Power Ranger cosplayer, so okay. we'll do Power Rangers together sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've now when I met Power Priestess, she was exclusively a Power Ranger cosplayer, mm -hmm. nothing else. Okay. But you know, I've been uh, taking her outside of her comfort zone a little bit here and there. Me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I have gotten her to do some anime, okay. right? So we've done Yu Yu Hakusho together. She does a killer Kuwabara. We've done Evangelion together. She does a great um, um, uh, Akagi cosplay. Um, okay. Yeah, and Vox oh, Machina Vox together. Machina. Yes, she also okay. does do uh, Percival. Explain the bow if they can see this. This is incredible, you guys. So this represents the fact that, you know, Kimberly, she is the original King Ranger. She has... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, I got you. Oh, right. oh okay. <laughs> she... <laughs> Either one is fine. Okay. Right. So, you know, she was the original Pink Ranger. She was, you know, the archer. So she has the bow and the arrow. So, yeah, that, that'll get annoying. <laughs> so, so I wanted her to have a badass bow. Okay. So in the comic, she has this thing called the bow of darkness, which is two sort of darknesses yeah. put together. You know, that looks absolutely lethal, and I wanted something that kind of gave that vibe, so I wanted a pink bow. This is an actual... That's like she has a bow in the yeah, TV series. Like, this is an actual bow that I ordered from Amazon. It It's functional. Okay. I never ordered the um the arrows, so... But it looks so mean, you know? It's a mean-looking bow just by itself, right out the box. Okay. And I plan to add stuff to make it look more like the show but as it is i could leave it as it is and yeah. just are you gonna paint it or no yeah i might put some silver bits on it okay. and just make it shiny and lethal <laughs> okay um on instagram i've noticed that a lot of people are going to this place for eight bits Ooh. have you guys been there yet uh, oh, oh yeah we actually we actually are models for eight bits mm -hmm. okay yeah so, so explain a little bit about it yeah yeah for the audience yeah so 8 bit bites it yeah, I'll be is keeping up. I'll be keeping up with everybody. <laughs> it's a so um there's vegan options there's uh good burgers a lot of good shakes they also have video games to play while you wait for your food and they also have um us uh, live performers to entertain you so okay. sometimes <laughs> so we'll come and sometimes we'll um perform as power rangers um or dc folks you know Whatever, whatever the vibe is for the night. Okay. What video games do you guys play when you're there? Oh, you know, whatever we, we're cosplaying that day. So, you know, if we're Power Rangers today, come through, get wrecked in some Power Ranger fighting games, you know, right now. We eat it up. <laughs> we eat it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll whoop your ass all day while you're waiting for your food. You're going to leave mad. Oh, my goodness. Matt, you're going to leave mad, child. Okay. <laughs> you know, you so got. What do you guys recommend food-wise? Oh, like, what's I, your favorite thing to eat? I'm, well, I got a sweet tooth. My favorite thing is the Fruity Pebbles milkshake. Okay. That sounds like a lot of sugar, don't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly that. You stole my answer. That was what I love, too. Like, it was recommended to me the first day. And... 
when I tried it, I was like, oh my god, this is like childhood in a cup. <laughs> oh, it's love. It's beautiful to look at. It's beautiful to drink. It's delicious. It'll fill you up. Like, okay. I highly recommend it. Their chicken tenders are lovely too. Like, the, okay. the, the actual We're recording. different sauce. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> this is rough. It's all right. But um, you know what? Yes. Okay. Come through. It's like 90s nostalgia all day because it's like the setup is nice. The, the floor is lit up. Yeah. You got characters coming through dressed up. Okay. While you're waiting on your food, you're playing all of the video games. They have every system okay. in, their, in their lineup. So it's... Okay. Well, tell the audience where they can find you, lovely people, at. Um, For me, on Instagram, yes, queen. <laughs> she is Mighty Morphin Power Priestess. I am Mighty Morphin Power Priestess. <laughs> um, and I am New York Six Ranger on all socials. So mm. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, wherever you're on, I'm there as New York Six Ranger. Um, they don't like me on TikTok anymore for some reason. They don't think I'm cool or whatever. But, um. You can definitely find me on Instagram. I spend a lot of time there. So it's Mighty Morphin Power Priestess underscore under each, between each word. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. And thank you guys so much. Back to you.